working hard and helping us. Red and green and shiny blue, they're the really useful crew, all with different roles to play, around the yards or far away. Up and down around the fence, Thomas and his friends. One early morning, Thomas was just getting steamed up ready for work when he saw Sir Topham had arrived in his car. Morning, Thomas. <sighs> Good morning, sir. I have a very special assignment for you. Edward was going to take some supplies to the new building yard, but the train's too heavy for him to carry alone. Would you like to help? <sighs> I'd like to help, sir. But my branch line needs me. And besides, we already have a building yard for the Sidor Construction Company. Oh, this building site is for another construction team on our island. They call themselves the Kandu Crew. The Kandu Crew? What kind of ridiculous name is that? And who even are they anyway? They're a building team from a town called Bobsville. Some time ago, I brought them to our island, as I feel that two construction teams working on Sidor would get work done more efficiently. Now then, Thomas. You better go and help Edward. He's waiting for you at the docks. <sighs> yes, sir. I have a feeling I'm not really going to enjoy this. There you are, Thomas. <sighs> Hello, Edward. What's wrong? I just really don't want to work on that new building site. It's beneath me. I have better things to do on my branch line. After all, it's the most important part of the entire railway. It beats any useless dump of a site like that any day. Oh, stop complaining. It's not that bad. You may really like this new building team. I've spoken to some of them before, and they're quite nice, really. Now, come on. You better deliver these trucks to the building site. I've heard they're building a new shed. When they got to the building site, Thomas couldn't stay cross for long. He had to admit, it was looking rather nice. While he was looking around, he then saw a man with a yellow construction hat walking up to him. Well, I'll be blowed. You arrived earlier than I expected. These must be the bricks we need to fix up the shed. Indeed, an extra if needed. Thanks very much. Hello there. You must be Thomas the Tank Engine. Edward has told me a lot about you. Um, yes, I am. And you are? I'm Bob the Builder. The pleasure's on mine, Mr. Bob. <laughs> Please, Thomas, call me Bob. Everyone does. Oh, okay, um, uh, Bob. It's been a while, hasn't it, Bob? It certainly has been, Edward. I haven't seen you since that storm blew down Wellsworth's roof. It's so great to talk to you again. Likewise, old friend. Now then. Where would you like for us to put these cracks? Scoop will show you where to put them. Wherever he's gone to. Who or what is Scoop? Oh, he's... I think you'll find out soon enough, Thomas. Thomas, I'd like for you to meet my building team. This here's Scoop. Hello. Mark. Hi there. Dizzy. Hello. Roly. Yeah, how's it going? And Lofty. Oh, hello. Yeah, you too. These overcolored bath toys can't be proper vehicles, Edward. Just look at their faces. Thomas, don't be so rude. They've really been wanting to meet you. Oh, wow. It's a really great honor to meet you, Thomas. Edwards told us all sorts of stories about you. Yeah, like how you got your groovy branch line. Yeah, which I'd prefer to be on than be here any day. Oh, uh, we, we didn't upset you, did we? No, I'm just Peachy Lifter. Uh, my name's Lofty, actually. Yeah, whatever, same difference. Thomas, may I have a word? What's gotten into you? You're not usually like this. I already told you, Edward. I'd rather be back in my branch than to be here with some... some... oversized bath toys. That is no way to talk, Thomas. You shouldn't judge someone based on their appearance. 
Remember what happened when you met Terence? But this is different, Edward. And besides, that orange cement mixer is giving me a weird look. Dizzy? Oh, she's only trying to be friendly, Thomas. Ugh, giving me the creeps is more like it. Edward, could you and Thomas come over here for a moment? Of course we can, Bob. Right away. Now don't act so rotten towards them, Thomas. I strongly advise you to behave yourself. All the machines tried to get along with Thomas, but no matter how hard they tried, nothing made him change his attitude about them. So rough! Shut up and get in line! We'll get in line, alright? <laughs> come on, you what? Come on, I wanna get this job done and fast! Hey! You look! You better stop picking on Thomas! Or else! Hey, look, fellas! It's a big rolling banana! <laughs> Sorry. There you go, Thomas. Thanks a lot, but I did need a machine's help. Oh. Well, still, I thought I'd give you some help. You did look like you were struggling. Huh. Tell me something I don't know, Scout. Uh, my name is Scoop. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, I may just dig and load all the time, but I always know when to look after my friends, too. To me, that's what's absolutely great about being a digger! Scoop had only meant to be friendly, but Thomas took it all completely the wrong way. His patience finally gave out. Oh, so you're just trying to rub your pride in my face, is that it? Wait, what? No, no I wasn't. Don't give me that nonsense. I just knew Sir Tom had made a bad choice bringing you lot here to Sudor. I swear, you're just as worse as Bertie the Bus. And the same can be said about your so-called friends. I wish you never came to Sudor. You lot are all just the same. I'm going home. <coughs> Thomas, wait! <coughs> Please wait! What did I say? Oh, now that's just not cool, isn't it? Oh, we're, we're not bad machines, are we, Scoop? No, Lofty, none of us are. But what can we do to make Thomas see reason? I don't know, Scoop. At this point, I don't care. What? Why? Because of the way he said those mean things about us, that's why. Him ignoring all of us is one thing, but this has gone too far. Uh, uh, I thought Ed had said Thomas was a really nice thing to have. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, where are you going? I'm going home, Edward, that's where. I've had enough of those stupid machines. If you go back now, you'll get in trouble with Sir Topham Hat, and you know it. Oh, please, I was just- Being rude and horrid to Scoop, as well as Mac, Rowley, Lofty, and Dizzy. I'm incredibly disappointed in you, Thomas. You're acting just as bad as Gordon. Well, I, I, <sighs> you know what? Just forget it. Meanwhile, Scoop, feeling very bad, was talking to Bob about what happened. Oh, Bob, I've never felt so awful. I didn't mean to upset Thomas. Honest, I didn't. Oh, it's all right, Scoop. I know you didn't mean to, but I think you better clear things up with him. Good idea, Bob. I'll go and find him. <laughs> Thomas! Thomas! Uh, not him again. What do you want? Oh, Thomas, I'm really sorry about what happened back there. I didn't mean to upset you. I was only... I don't even want to hear it. Just go away and leave me alone. But uh, Thomas, wait! Beat a banana bucket! Thomas, please! I just want to talk to you! Wait! Where are you going? 
as far away from you as possible. But Thomas, you're going the wrong way. Uh oh, DJ, we need to stop him. He's heading for the concrete. Thomas, stop, Thomas. Huh? Oh no! Oh no! My wheels! I'm stuck! Oh, Thomas! What do we do, Scoop? I know what to do. I'll find Muck and Lofty. I'm sure they can help. I'll be right back! Muck! Lofty! Oh, thank goodness I found you. I need both of your help. It's Thomas! He fell into the concrete, and now he's stuck! Serves him right for calling us names! I won't go! Oh, please, Muck. I really need your help. And why should I help that no good steamhead? Because we always help someone, no matter what. Remember when Lofty helped Spud out of that tree on the bridge? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Spud was really mean to me, but I helped him anyway. Exactly! Come on, Muck. Can we rescue? Yes, we can! Um, yeah, I think so. to save you! Is everyone all right? Oh, Bob, it was my fault. I tried apologizing to Thomas and I... Um, well, actually, Bob, this was my own fault. Pretty much all of this is. I shouldn't have been so nasty to you all. You were wonderful. I can clearly see why Sir Tom had brought you here. I'm sorry I caused this mess. And I'm really sorry to you, Scoop. You're not that bad after all. Neither are you, and I can definitely see why Sir Topham Hat considers you his number one engine. <laughs> Thanks. So, can we, you know, be friends? Of course we can! Can we, team? Yeah! yeah. Right. So, <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. At last, the job was finished just in time. The machine's new sheds looked amazing. Well done, everyone. The shed looks great. Bob, look at that. It looks like a car on the tracks. Oh, that must be Winston. Sir Tom Hatt said he was getting a new inspection car. Oh, 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 sorry about that, Winston. Don't worry, sir. Still early days. Well, I can see you finished the job. Well done, all of you. This shed looks very splendid. We couldn't have done it without Thomas, sir. Oh, Sir Topham? Is it alright if we borrow Thomas sometimes? We may need more help building some more sheds here. Well... Oh, please, sir, can I? I'd love to help them again. 
Very well, Thomas. You can help out when they need you. Hello, Thomas. It's about time you went back home on your branch line. What? So soon? Ah, uh, don't feel bad, Thomas. You can come back and see us any time you like. Well, in that case, I really hope I can come back and help again soon. So long. Nice meeting all of you. Goodbye, yes, Thomas. See ya. Bye, it was Thomas. nice meeting you. That night, Thomas went to sleep in his shed. He thought about what had happened today, and about Bob and his team, and how helpful they had been. He thought about all the jobs he could help them with, and he especially felt very content to call them all his new friends. They're two, they're four, they're six about, working hard and helping out. Red and green and shining blue, they're the really useful crew, all with different roles to play, around the yards or far away. Up and down around the fence, Thomas and his friends. Thomas, he's the cheeky one, but he always gets things done. James is safe but never bad. Henry, he's a helpful lad. Gordon, a shining streak of blue. Edward, always kind and true. Percy, small and somewhat shy, but always there right by your side. They're two, they're four, they're six about, working hard and helping out. Red and green and shiny blue, they're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play, around the yards or far away. Up and down, around the fence, Thomas.